Hello everyone. In this video, I will read for you chapter 3, The Law of Intention, from my book of The Secret to Success. What is the law of intention? This is one of the universal laws. It is the fact that there is always an infinite resource and the power of energy for what needs in the present to create whatever you may desire. As human level, the conscious level, intention is to have a definite purpose, a plan to direct your mind. The power of intention is the power that we are able to choose utilize whatever available to us to attract or create what we experience in life include joy, fulfillment, richness, health, happiness, and at the same power of choice, we can also create poverty, sickness, discomfort, and even death. The only difference in the outcome is your intention. In the spiritual level of intention, the subconscious level, it is the power of your belief. It serves as the connection between you and God. Your belief determines your intention. If your conscious intention is to have money, sound health, to be happy, to work less, but your subconscious intention, which is your belief, is in disharmonious or conflict, the subconscious intention wins. Just as I explained in previous chapter about electricity and gravity, you can benefit from its useful way if you understood how to use it. It can hurt or kill you if you do not use it carefully. The only difference is how you choose to use it. The law of intention has similar principles. The choice of your intention will determine your outcome, and you have a free will to use the power of intention. Whatever you choose with your sincere and heartfelt level in your subconscious intention, those choices will lead you to experience the results of your life. In the universe, everyone comes to this world with an intention. Our Creator is a powerful source. He created heaven and earth and all of the seen and unseen. There is no one or nothing being there on this earth without His intention. From the mosquitoes, the spiders, the trees, the plants, the flowers, to human beings, all are His creations. Everything has its own intention and has the purpose to live and to survive. The flowers on the trees blossom in the spring. The buds will become the fruits in the summer. You will never find an apple on the orange tree, a plum on the peach tree. Everything has the living power and the right of survival. These principles are the same with us, human beings. When the embryo is conceived in the mother's womb, it is only the speck of the blood cell, but the entire DNA is already planted in it. The embryo already has its own characteristics, the color of the eyes, hair, and skin. 
All of these are already placed in the primitive stage of the baby by the miracle from the Creator. The parents do not even have a choice of what sex their baby will be or know what the baby looks like until he or she is born. This miracle can only achieve by the infinite intelligence you can call the Supreme, the Creator, or God, whatever your own belief. No other creation can compare to this powerful source on this earth. The universal laws and His intentions are to assist all living things to live, to improve, to develop, to increase. This living continues in an everlasting cycle. One person dies, then another person is born. One flower wills, while another one blossoms. Every living thing, from your fingernails to your hair, your heart beats, each one has its own intention and purpose. The power of intention is so powerful in every living thing, from the things you can see to the things you cannot see. Everything and everyone shares the same air, the same sky, the same sources from the universe. Everyone is equally entitled to this abundance, the unlimited source, and needs to live in harmony with the natural laws. When you see the fruit trees, each fruit tree produces different kinds of fruits, but they all share the same soil. All of these wonderful fruits draw from the same source in the soil, from the unseen world. Most people think the principle of the trees is a fruit, but in fact, the principle of the trees are the roots and the soil. If you do not like the result of the fruits you have this year, you can change it by putting more fertilizer in the soil or losing up the roots. The tree will produce better fruits next year. In the unseen, that is more important than the seen world. In order to live in harmony and align your intentions with the natural laws, you need to have connection and a strong belief in the law of the universe and the belief in the infinite intelligence. This is your belief and the only way you can connect with the universe. You need to live by your soul, connect with him through thoughts with your higher self. You send out your intentions and your desires through your feelings and trust that you will receive. This strong belief will bring your dreams into reality. How do people know if they are disconnected from the source or lost the connection with God? How do people know if they are not in harmony or aligned with the infinite intelligence? The trees, the birds, the fish in the ocean, the wild animals, they all live in the world. They harmonize with nature and never detach themselves from the natural laws. Only humans sometimes think that they are invincible and they do not need to apply the universal laws in their lives. They detach themselves from their belief, and they think that they can conquer the world on their own without any help from God. This is the biggest mistake humans can make. These are few things that 
can help you to recognize if you have lost the connection or disconnected yourself from the source. You think you are your material possessions, your home, your career, your money. You think you are your title in life, doctor, lawyer, etc. You can have anything you want in this world without any help from others or the universe. You disconnect yourself with people around you. You do not control your own mind and guide it, and you do not know what you really want. When you no longer believe in God and you do not show gratitude to Him, How can people find their definite purpose? What is definite purpose? Why have you not found your intentions in life? Perhaps you wonder and ask yourself these questions. I ask myself these questions many times. The younger generation, especially the students, who just started going to college, look toward the future and seem to have too many roads to choose. They sometimes ask themselves, what do I want to choose? What do I want to be in the future? Do I want to be an engineer or an architect? Do I want to be a writer or an artist? This becomes a confusion when they do not have a definite purpose. When they do not know what they want, they cannot answer for themselves these questions. In this chapter, I advise you to take some time to look deep into your soul. The Creator already placed all of the intentions in you at birth. You need to find out what it is that you love to do most and what kind of talents you possess. You need to take possession of the greatest gift, which is your marvelous mind that comes with you at birth, and find out what your special talent and what your unique ability are. Use them to contribute your shares back to humanity. Think of what it was that you loved to do most when you were a child. What were your natural talents? What could you do easily and what gave you the most pleasure? If what you loved to do could bring you more benefits to others and may have potential of making money for you, then this could be your best choice. If your intention is to serve others, the more people you serve, the bigger the intention is and the greater success will be. When you look deep in your soul, you will find the answer to these questions. Do not let other people influence your thinking. Do not take anyone else's opinions, including parents, siblings, or friends. You can think about their advices, but the intentions must come from you. You are the only one who truly knows what your capability is and what you love to do the most. Think about the future. What is your dream? What is the ideal lifestyle that you want to have? Think about what you would enjoy doing the most every day. What would make you happy the most? What do you want to leave behind for the next generation to remember you? Examples, Oprah Winfrey, when she was young, she had the interview about her dream and her intentions. Oprah's answer was, 
I like to chat with friends and other people about their lives. My intentions is to share with them our about their ups and downs to listen to their dreams. Now, Oprah is one of the most successful women in the United States. Oprah Winfrey's show is one of the most watched shows. And she have achieved her big success just from doing talk show with people. She gets to do what she loves most and became a multi-millionaire. Henry Ford, when he was young, he had a special interest in cars. His dream was to invent eight cylinder cars. It took many years of hard work and persistence to achieve his dream. His intentions were to serve and to make life better for others with his inventions. Ford's company became one of the biggest automobile industries in the United States. He has served many people and contributed to the world the greatest benefits from his inventions. When you feel lack of motivation, you feel very bored with the job you are doing. Every day you have to do something you do not like. That is the result of not having the intention in your life. And you have not found your purpose in life. You need to start looking deep in your soul and find out what your best intentions are. Why are you here? You are the only one who can find out. You are the only person who knows best about you. Here are a few tips to help you to find the definiteness of purpose. First, accept the fact that everyone is unique and no one lives in this world without the intention from God. He already placed his intention in each one of us. It is your duty to understand your purpose in life. Sometimes you have to go to change a couple times in your life before you all actually find it. Second, recognize when an opportunity arrives. Look at an opportunity as if it is the best way for you to utilize your own talents and contribute back to the universe. Make sure if this opportunity is something that fits you, if it's what you really want, or if you do it only to try to please someone else, or you need to satisfy your own ego. Third, align your intentions with strong belief in God. Focus on your desires and your definiteness of purpose, your willingness to serve many others. Show God with your belief in your intentions and ask for help in strengthening you and giving you the confidence to take action. Fourth, disregard all criticism from others or the people's opinions will not be as important as your own intentions and your definiteness of purpose. Their thinking about you cannot be accurate or better than your own. You need to know what you want and what best for you. Do not pay attention to their criticism or let others interfere in your thoughts of your dream. The universe is very precise. Everyone receives the same opportunity to succeed if one wants to excel. If there are people who do not achieve success, 
is because they do not discover their true potentials and do not possess the power of directing their own mind. Do not look around for others' advices. Focus only in you and your soul. Fifth, success leaves clues. Do not reinvent the wheels. Look for the mentors and watch their footsteps. Look at how they live, how they think, and admire them. Look into their biography to find out what motivated them, what inspired them to success, what are their main intention and their definiteness of purpose. Read about these people. Perhaps you might find out what inspired them will inspire you too. Maybe their ideas, their purposes are also yours, or at least they are what you have been looking for. 7. Understand that we are all connected to each other and connected to the source. Everyone needs each other and needs to contribute to the world in his or her own way. And everyone is here to serve. Whoever disconnects from the source will soon wither and die. We need to lead, help, and love each other just like we are a family. 8. You must rely on your thinking, your feelings, and your actions. If you are only thinking but you have no feelings, or if you just think but take no actions, you will never achieve it, and you will not get what you want. The simple way to remember is, Thoughts lead to feelings. Feelings or desires lead to actions, mean doing, and actions lead to results. Pay attention to your thoughts. When your thoughts become strong desires, these burning desires will stir up in your feelings and create actions. When you see this pattern in you, you know that it is your heart telling you to act and it is your willpower giving an urgent message that you must make your dream into reality. Remember, always show gratitude in God. Thank Him daily for what you already have and be thankful for it. Do not complain about lacking of education, lacking of ability, or lacking of skills. Do not blame Him for your own poverty or your own misfortune. Because everyone in this universe is unique individual with unique talents, believe in yourself and find your talent and use it. To me, when people want to find their definiteness of purpose, it only means that they are looking for wealth and happiness. The wealth and happiness cannot be achieved if it is someone else's intentions. To achieve wealth and happiness, you must focus on your your own intention. Your intention is to have this abundance. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumb up, like to support my channel. Thank you so much.